resolution is really shaping up to be yet another epic TNA pay-per-view event. Think about it. We already have the triple threat with Kevin Nash, the alpha male Bobby Brown, and Diamond Dallas Page. As they meet, the winner faces Jeff Jarrett. We have Ultimate X. Just say it. Say my name. AMW Five against time, Team Canada baby. for the Tag Team Championships and so much more. January 16th can't get here fast enough. We kick off Impact with six-man tag team action, and I'm going to be very interested in seeing if Prime Time, formerly of Triple X, is going to be able to coexist with his tag team partner in this six-man tag. Chief Stevens and Andy Douglas, the Naturals done. I know you saw it. The body language. The, the out and out comments that I heard, and I know you heard them as well from Prime Time. He basically said that he's been forced to be in this match. He does not want any association with the natural, but TNA has signed it, they've made the match, and he's got to perform. Don't think about it, Mike, as we see the phenomenal AJ Styles come out. But think about it, even Skipper. Prime time walked the top of the cage. Did everything he could to win that match. Him and Christopher Daniels were partners for over two years. It's not easy for him now. Ago here on Impact, we saw those very opportunistic, as we call them, naturals, Chase Stevens and Andy Douglas. And yes, they defeated Sonny Siaki and Johnny B. Bad. But if you recall, Johnny B. Bad went to the top rope. He went for that bad move, finish it. He went to hit it on Chase Stevens, but it was Andy Douglas who blocked him from outside and he hooked Johnny B. Bad. That allowed the naturals to get a win. And I know that Sonny Siaki. And Johnny B. Bad is gunning for revenge. Well, I'll tell you something. You could tell some good chemistry, though, forming between Siaki and Johnny B. Bad. And Sonny Siaki is another one to keep your eye on. He is invigorated. He's so glad to be back in that ring. This guy offers a lot of power. And then when you throw in the phenomenal AJ Styles and the veteran Johnny B. Bad, this is an incredible threesome that you see out there. Like you said, though, the big question is can the Naturals and Primetime coexist? But I still, we got to talk about the triple threat and final resolution. Kevin Nash, the alpha male Bonnie Brown, and Diamond Dallas Page. It's going to be pinned, submission, or over the top of the rope to be eliminated. The winner takes on Jeff Jarrett later on in the program. And think about how many different ways that can go. Obviously, the most interesting aspect of the triple threat elimination matchup, which will obviously be, be before that world's title match at final resolution, is what if Kevin Nash was victorious? We would see Kevin Nash against Jeff Jarrett. We would see two of the kings of wrestling go head-to-head -head for the NWA World's Heavyweight title. Oh, let's face it. Kevin Nash aligned, aligned himself with Jeff Jarrett and, of course, Scott Hall. But with the lure of the gold of the NWA World Heavyweight Championship of Belting, Kevin Nash just never held. Oh, that's too powerful. He'd have to go for it, wouldn't he, Mike? I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk for him, but you would certainly think so. Oh, it's, it's too prestigious not to. And I'll tell you something. You know that's in the back of Jeff Jarrett's mind. He's worried about it. He's got to think about the that situation could happen. Not to mention DDP or Monty Brown. Oh man! What an impact broadcast we have in store for you. X Division Showdown. Fallen Angel Christopher Daniels, a former partner of Primetime, to take on Michael Shane. And Dusty Rhodes going to be looking very closely at that matchup when it comes to putting wrestlers in Ultimate X. The X Division Championship match, January 16th, and final resolution. Plus, get ready for Scott Hall against Hector Garza. And after what went down last week on Impact with Garza, the knockout blow with the guitar on Scott Hall. I can't wait to see that. Well, Scott Hall asked for it. He handed it to him. I don't think he ever thought that Garza would have the nerve to do it with Kevin Nash standing right there. He did, now we're gonna see him later on the program, but right now you've gotta admit that the Naturals have AJ Styles really. We've not seen prime time in the ring yet. He's kind of distancing himself from the, the Naturals. Like I said, he just, it just, it's new to him out there to have a different part. What an attitude yeah. we're seeing here from prime time. I mean, I, I mean, I can certainly understand him being upset 
The tag team of, of Triple X forced to disband because of the loss at Turning Point. But he, there's just absolutely no communication at all between Prime Time and the Naturals here in this six-man tag. Styles shot off into the ropes, stuck to the clothesline, and springs off. Oh, oh, nice knee, though, by Andy Douglas. I'm telling you something, AJ Styles, again, when you have a target on your back as big as AJ does every time he goes to the ring, that just means everybody's gunning for you. He's got to be so much better than everybody else. And again, as you see the look there on Prime Time's face, not cheering the Naturals on at all, it's just kind of distant. You notice it today? Almost as if he was a loner. Just absolutely on his own. What an attitude we've seen from him as Stevens goes with the cover on Styles. Had the far leg book, but only able to get a two count. Nice backbreaker, though, by Chase Stevens with a knee on the back of AJ Styles. I'll tell you something. AJ has got to get a tag into Johnny D. Batter. Sonny Siaki quick. Boy, this is going to be over before these guys even get a chance to get the ring. Naturals with the double team on Styles behind the back of referee Andrew Thomas. Now Styles set up on the top corner there. Shot to the side of the head by Douglas. Going to try and follow him up and does. Douglas goes up to the middle rope as well. Oh, nice elbow right there by AJ. This guy has no quit in him. He doesn't even understand the word. Oh, look at right there. Point to wow. him. It's over. He takes a shot on AJ. Wasn't even tagged in. Just takes a shot. Unbelievable. It's like he just had to take out his aggression on somebody. Yeah, check this out. It's almost as if that frustration is just boiling over here. Prime time attacking both Johnny B. Bad and Sonny Siaki. After you're ready, just flung the down to the floor. He's uncontrollable right now. Here he goes. Wow, what a spin move over the top of the ropes. Right into AJ Styles. Wow, is right. Slingshot into a twisting cross body block. And look at this. Like the Nationals are trying to control him. The, the I, I think they don't want to be disqualified right here. I mean, this is, look at this. Yeah, this situation is just boiling over. The frustration so evident. Oh. He never saw that one coming. Siaki laid him out with a clothesline. You better believe it. Siaki took advantage right now. Andrew Thomas has no idea who's legal, who's what, who's who. As Siaki throws AJ back in the ring. Great move. And he gets the tag on Johnny B. Bad. Johnny B. Bad now. Exploding with right hands for both Steven and Douglas. And there's one for prime time as well. He's a bad man as he's got it right now. Nice boot. Here he goes. Double him over with that boot. Then the high knee lift. right now now he's got prime time in his sights oh look at that nice move. move there by johnny b bad just taking prime time over the top really knows he's oh, oh. you got to be kidding me over the top of the rope onto the rail and hockey hockey takes him down Close lights douglas to the floor johnny b bad gonna go for chase stevens right hand to the side of the head check this out he's gonna go for the bad move Exactly. Look out, this is exactly what went down a couple weeks ago. There goes Danny Douglas trying to get up there. 